Hello everyone, my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel, another 7 days to die video. Doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC, but as long as these blocks are on console, it should work for you guys as well. Okay, not that long ago, I did a camo netting block test here, and there were quite a few people that didn't like the way I did the testing, and the fact that I was crouching. Now, when I go into crouch mode, it's just so you guys can see the undetected here, but there was quite a few people arguing and mentioning that being crouched eliminates the zombie's ability to see me and that my test was invalid so i want to retest part of it and then i'm going to test something additional to go along with this that was mentioned so i just built a little five by five wall of camo blocks again and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my assistant stuff out here and this time i'm going to hide inside of it and stay standing and to see if they can actually see me when they're standing or not here so what we're going to do is let's see i'm going to try to let's see we'll get uh Let's get Sylvia and Brittany out here. They're they're really good helpers. Let's see. Let's go down here. Okay. All right. See if they can see me. If they even walk this general direction or not. Okay. Undetected. All right. So I'm gonna stay standing. Now somebody had mentioned that they wanted me to try and test this out, making a bunch of noise and jumping around, doing crafting, all that other stuff. And I'm not going to do that because that is going to attract them via noise. And I don't want to noise to be the reason why they come over. I want this to test if they can actually see me or not. And so far, it doesn't really look like they can. Let me see if I can pick my head up over the top. All right, Brittany has just wandered off. I don't even know where she went. She's not very reliable these days. Sylvia, on the other hand, let's see. Okay, so got her attention. Let's see. Okay, so I am hunted. Let's see if, you know, she completely loses sight of me here. If I stay, you know, behind this camo thing. So she, she got shot in the back. She de definitely didn't see me. So let's see what she does here. Okay, so she just saw me, ran over. There's Brittany. Hey, girl, what's up? Okay, you're getting a little bit too close. I'm a big fan of yours, but, you know, not that close. Okay, so... All right, so we're going to reset this a little bit and try and get a couple more things, see if we can get some animals in here and see if they can detect me because so far, just the original two, just standing here, I didn't have any kind of different results than I did when I was crouched uh, until I got their attention via the noise. So let's reset and we'll get a couple animals in here. Okay, right outside the wall now, I've got a bear and a wolf out here. You can see as of right the moment, I'm undetected. I'm standing right in the middle of it. I'm gonna try not to make any noise at all. Get the shotgun ready, just in case I'm trying not to do any clipping through the wall to see if they'll go through me. Okay, the wolf is howling. See, it's the undetected. The bear is standing right over next to me. So far, neither one of them know I'm here. God, this is really nerve wracking. This is more nervous than the actual zombies themselves and stuff here. You can see I don't have God mode on just in case people are just like, oh, you're worried because you got God mode on. No, I don't play with God mode on. I just play creative mode so I can manipulate the blocks. Okay, so it looks like the wolf wandered away. The bear is still standing right outside this wall here. He's, he's within just a couple feet of me. If I was not behind this camel wall, he would definitely be destroying things as we go along here. And I'm not sure the wolf went, but he's he's gone. Okay, so I can say that, that things are going bad here. Oh, God. I don't know how he detected me. Maybe he clipped through the wall and saw me, but uh, things are going real bad. Oh, Lord, no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Okay, I don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> He's got some clipping issues going on. Let's see, the wolf is not here. I don't know where he went. I guess he got bored and ran off. The, the bear is still having a little bit of a party. He's doing a, a barrel roll. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, I don't know exactly what happened there. I'll just let you guys figure out if that was something that maybe I did wrong. Maybe he uh, saw me clip through the wall. I don't know exactly what happened there, but just standing around, not moving, he didn't see me until he got right up next to it. And I don't know if maybe I clipped through the wall or if he stuck his head in the wall and saw me that way. But for the most part, when he was wandering around, he didn't see me at all. <laughs> but that was pretty creepy. All right, now for the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to retest the Wandering Horde at night. Again, I'm not going to test the Blood Moon Horde because they already know where you are. This does not provide any defense, so it's not going to hide me from them because I've tested hiding underwater, hiding underground, hiding way up in the air. It's not very easy to hide from the Blood Moon Horde. I'm not even going to bother testing it, but I will just stand in here. You can see I just put torches all the way around this thing so you just to make life easy so you can see all the way around it. Uh, zombies aren't attracted to torches, but this way, hopefully, we'll be able to see the Horde running past, and I'm just going to stay standing this time 
and wait for the horde to show up and see if they just run on past me like they did in the very first video. Uh, make sure this is nice and reloaded just in case. Okay, now we'll just wait for the time to get here and see how it goes. Okay, the uh, witching hour has begun. Let's see, I am currently undetected. I don't know the direction in which they're going to actually going to be spawning in, so I'm going to have to be going by listening. I don't have my headlamp on here with my uh, mining helmet just because I don't want it to be, because it's like super bright and it washes out and you can't see anything anyway. So we're just kind of keep an eye on it. We're just going to kind of chill and wait for them to show up and see if they see me or not. Still undetected, trying to make not any noise. And let's see if they can actually see me if I'm just standing inside a camo netting. All right, there goes one person past me. Here goes a small horde of them. They're running right on past me, just like they did in the first video. But I'm standing up. See, I'm not making any noise. I'm just chilling, standing here. Some running off that direction. Some running past me. You can just kind of see them flickering through the walls here. I'm trying not to make any noise. So I don't attract them by anything other than, you know, visual aid and stuff. Trying to see them here. Got it fully lit up. So if they could see me at all, they were going to be able to see me. But it looks like they just ran on past me. I'm going to hang out here just for a minute. Okay, still undetected. Don't see any more showing up right at the moment. The first little group may have went away. But I think that pretty much confirms what I showed in the very first video. In that uh, the camo does actually hide you from the zombies. You know, the wandering hordes and stuff that show up at night. Again, not the Blood Moon horde stuff. But so far, they ran right on past me and didn't even see me. So, crouching or not, it looks like it does work out. Alright, let's move on to the next test. Alright, so here's the next and the final test for the camo blocks at the moment. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know a while back I did a test on whether or not zombies could get inside your house via the door. If they went through the door first instead of trying to go through the walls and successfully proved that yes, that they will go for the door. They see it as an open block and so they would pathfind around the house and try and go in the door every time or bust down the door of course when they realize it's not actually closed. So the test is now like what if you just put camo blocks around it? Now of course you put regular wood blocks or steel blocks any kind of normal blocks in front of it it's going to see it as a blocked opening as well but since you can see through camo people are wanting to know if what if you block your door off with some camo will it actually hide them so I built a little structure just like I did in the original test and got a door over here on the side got some camo blocks blocking it under here nothing really special here just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on see it's just a little horseshoe shape going around there what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my assistants in here and see if they can actually go after me or if they're going to go after the door. All right, so we got Sylvie and Brittany here. Go inside so they path fine towards me. All right, let's see if they go towards the door here. Okay, I'm over here towards the door. Let's see. Okay, so Brittany just straight up found the fastest, closest entrance here. And Sylvia's kind of making her way around now that Brittany's knocking the door down here. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna have to try this one again. Come inside, ladies. All right. Pardon me. We need to reset. Sylvia. <laughs> you got some. <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally messed up your dance. I really feel bad about that. You had a nice little tango going on. Oh, whoops. Sorry. That slipped. Uh, had a nice little tango going on. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do a quick reset on this one. Let's see. We'll put a block right here. Let me see. I'm gonna put a block right there. And see, make sure it's completely sealed on this side. Okay, so first time Brittany just went over there and smacked the crap out of it and made her way in. So let's get them out here again. Let's see, Sylvia and Brittany get inside the base and see if they come towards me or if they go towards the door again. All right, so if I'm standing over here, they're just kind of going straight towards me a little bit. I wonder if I go back over here. Because it may have been a fluke, but this is what I'm testing, is if it was a fluke, if not, if she went towards the door because I was standing over here. So let's see if it does it again. Because I think what she was doing last time is she was just pathfinding to where I was the closest path like she is now. She didn't actually go for the door. See, the door is wide open now. Let's see if I can get her to come around over this side. Come over here. Oh, no, y'all have made your own way in here, but you are kind of stuck on top of each other. Oh, wow. Nice. Took that shot like a champ. Here, let's try that again. Is Sylvia okay? No, she's not okay at all. All right, so it looks like they don't necessarily see the door first thing. In the original test, they went for the door every time as long as they could get to the door. But here, having a block, they just went for the closest block. The first test, I was standing over right next to the door. She pathfind over to the block that was the weakest at the moment and just beat it down and climbed up in here. And then Sylvia had a little tango session that I ruined. 
But other than that, it looks like if you put camo blocks in front of your door, they're not going to specifically see it any more than they would any other time. So I would call that as a safe test. Um, the rest of the time, they're just going to go straight for you, line of sight. Again, I do the wood frame so they can see me, and that way we can actually see which direction they're going. Anyway, uh, hopefully this was a little bit of a better test for the people that thought I didn't do it right the first time, and maybe we'll get a couple more answers here, but see that it is actually kind of useful. Um, the stuff doesn't really see you through it, so that's always good. Um, of course, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below and, you know, let me know if I did something wrong again. And if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.